And I think Megan was very disrespectful to her. I did wonder, is this her trying to change the narrative and reshift it back to victim mode? Donald Trump recently launched some criticism on Meghan Markle, and he accused her of being disrespectful to the late Queen Elizabeth. The former US president also expressed his surprise that Prince Harry had been invited to his father, King Charles's coronation, given the public falling out between him, his wife Meghan, and the rest of the royal family. I was actually surprised that Harry was invited, to be honest. I think it was very nice that they invited him, but I was a little surprised. He said some terrible things. During an interview with Nigel Farage on GB News, Donald Trump expressed his support for King Charles, calling him a man who loves the country. I got to know him quite well. and. He loves the country, really loves the country. However, Trump was clearly unimpressed with Meghan's behavior towards the Queen. She was yeah. treated so disrespectfully by Meghan and just no reason to do that. And Trump's low opinion of Meghan Markle is not a new one. And he had previously claimed back in the year 2021 that Harry had been used horribly by Meghan Markle, who he had never been a fan of in the first place. But I think Harry's been used and been used terribly. It's ruined his relationship with his family. Completely. Also, according to Kinsey Schofield, a royal commentator, Meghan Markle's decision to skip King Charles' coronation may actually be a ploy to gain some sympathy. I did wonder, is this her trying to change the narrative and reshift it back to victim mode? Kinsey Schofield speculated that Meghan Markle could actually be trying to change the narrative so that people actually sympathize with her more. Um, so people sympathize with her. And as they watch the coronation, they feel sorry for her. Oh, poor Megan. Megan should be there. Oh, poor Megan. Megan has signed with global entertainment agency WME, announcing the news via their Instagram. This agency expressed honor in representing Meghan Markle and declared that it will concentrate on expanding her business ventures through various sectors of the agency and its wider network, such as film and television production, as well as brand partnerships. One of the most powerful talent branding IP agents in Hollywood. They can get you acting roles, but if you're a filmmaker like she and Harry now are with Archie Wells, she can get productions and opportunities in making films and television dramas and documentaries. Another thing to note is that Archie Wells, which is an organization that was established by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, is also signed with WME. This whole announcement actually follows the royal couple's decision three years ago to step down from royal duties and permanently reside in California. Currently though, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle still officially hold the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. People are a little bit angry about that. It's like you step down from royal duties, why are you still holding on to the titles? Why not renounce your titles as Duke and Duchess? And what difference would that make? Despite her prior acting experience on the show Suits, Meghan Markle has declared in a previous interview with Variety back in the year 2020 that she had no intention of returning to acting. And she stated, and I quote, I'm done. I mean, never say never, but my intention was never to return. After giving up their senior royal duties, Meghan and Harry, they have dedicated much of their time to their organization, Archwell, which encompasses a charitable foundation, as well as it has media production divisions. But there is a whole lot of tensions that have come to light between the couple as well as other members of the royal family over the last few months especially. The couple has made criticisms and accused the royal family, and these accusations by the way were highlighted in their Netflix docu-series, as well as in Prince Harry's best-selling book titled Spare. I realized they're never gonna protect you. It's about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. Also, their spokesperson had said that Meghan Markle is not going to be attending King Charles's coronation on May 6th and would instead remain in California for her son's birthday. However, Prince Harry is going to be attending the coronation. That the reason she's staying behind is to be with the kids on coronation day. So, of course, as you can imagine, this has escalated tensions between the couple and the rest of the royal family.
But what might be next for Meghan Markle in the future? Given her background and experience as an actress, this would be a natural fit for her going forward. However, there was an article in The Hollywood Reporter that said that Meghan Markle is not going to give priority to acting anymore in this stage of her life. This does raise some questions though as to whether she's considering potentially having her own talk show even. She's gonna be representing brands, so of course we may see her in commercials and on billboards as well. And there's definitely no doubt that she'll probably pick up some acting roles here and there. It's just not gonna be her main focus though. Is Meghan Markle trying to copy Kate Middleton? Looks like the internet thinks so. Meghan Markle, the wife of Harry, is debuting yet another new face. Recent online speculation about whether Meghan Markle has undergone plastic surgery erupted after her first public appearance since announcing that she won't attend King Charles's coronation, but will instead stay home in California to celebrate her son's birthday. Meghan, who is not attending the May 6th coronation, to be with the kids on Coronation Day, May 6th, otherwise known as Prince Archie's fourth birthday. The internet was quick to draw comparisons between Meghan's new look and that of her sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, leading some to question whether Meghan Markle underwent plastic surgery to look more like Kate. And you might be surprised to hear, not who, but what, he credits for his success. Welcome to the TED stage, my dear friend, Miss Ann Harriman. During her appearance at a TED talk, Megan had a radiant new look, which included a super sleek straight hairstyle that appeared to be a little lighter than her signature jet black color. And her hair was cut in long face framing layers. She also had a glowing makeup look consisting of dewy skin, rosy cheeks, and pink lips. And social media then was flooded with comments about her new appearance, with some suggesting that she actually had plastic surgery to achieve this new look. A lot of people are also pointing out that her face looks slightly different and that they believe perhaps the look she's going for is the future queen, Catherine, the princess of well, well, when it comes to Meghan Markle and plastic surgery, we all know that she's had surgery in the past, but this was way before her days as a royal. What are we seeing with her nose? Has it been thinned a little bit? I think it's definitely possible that she's had some very conservative thinning of her nose and maybe even a little projection added to it. When you take a look at her lips, her lips also appear that they may have been very subtly plumped as well. But now, Twitter users, internet users, even went as far as accusing her of being jealous of Kate and wanting to look like her, so she got more work done. She's got herself some brand new cheek implants. She's got straight colored honey blonde hair with extensions, of course. She's gotten some type of filler or maybe Botox in her lips. She got herself a new nose job and she was wearing contact lenses. She doesn't look a thing like the little girl with her mother. Some fans though did come to Megan's defense arguing that it's all about the lighting and angles and the contouring of her makeup. I think a lot of this is down to bad lighting. But others suggest that her new look makes her actually look more like Jennifer Lopez than Kate Middleton. So they're kind of confused of why people are comparing her to Kate Middleton. But it's also been reported that Meghan Markle, she gained some weight during her pregnancies and she's lost weight so it could have actually changed her appearance. 